there are quite a few pitfalls of raising capital, raising money for a company, whether you're a startup or a huge corporation. Uh, people don't really realize that it's challenging. Uh, you can't just go out and form a company and say, I'm a startup, and hey, give me $500,000, um, you'll eventually get your money back. Uh, there are so many laws and regulations in place, both local, state, federal, um, throughout the U.S. that cover raising money because they want to protect individuals from getting ripped off. They don't want people to invest in something and lose all their money. So one of the biggest regulatory agencies is a Securities and Exchange Commission. People think of that as the SEC that oversees, oh, okay, well, um, the SEC is investigating XYZ huge corporation. That has nothing to do with me. But that's not true. Those securities regulations and laws apply all the way down to the smallest company. So if you're out raising money in exchange for ownership in a business, generally that's going to be covered by securities law, even if it's a loan, a promissory note, um, or just a small investment. Hey, just pay $10,000 into my company and you'll get 5% of the company. That's still going to be covered usually by state of California, if you're in California, and federal regulations. So you have to comply with various statutes. A lot of times there are disclosure requirements. Sometimes you need a private placement memorandum or PPM and documents to document, okay, what are they getting in exchange for their money? What are the terms of their investment? What are the risks involved if you don't disclose those? Not only are you potentially subject to regulatory uh, issues, but also you're gonna get sued. Uh, somebody's gonna sue you and say, I gave you 10 grand, you said I was gonna make double my money in six months, and it's nowhere in writing, or maybe it is in writing, and they lost all their money. Did you disclose the fact that there was huge risk in what you were doing? Maybe, maybe not. But if you don't have anything in writing, how are you gonna prove that? And people assume, oh, it's just a friend of mine, but you'd be amazed at how many times, once money comes involved, even $100, people get pissed if they lose $100. Um, so there's tons of lawsuits or referrals and complaints to regulatory agencies. Happens all the time. So raising capital, getting investments into a company is not something you should take lightly. You need to do your research or hire someone to help you um, navigate all the specific issues involved.